Let me challenge you by asking you a question. Can you write better copy? I've got a list of 10 points for you from Edward N. Meyer Jr., who was a very famous copywriter. And in fact, he was the guy who wrote the first continuing education programs for the Direct Marketing Association. And he came up with a list of 10 questions to ask yourself about writing better copy to see if you could. So here's the list, and I'm asking you these questions to see whether you think you can address these points when you're putting your copy together. The first point is to make every letter sell. There's no point in writing a piece of copy or a sales letter particularly and not actually making it sell. So we talk a lot in this course about how to uh, write sales letters and how to position a sales pitch. And you have to ask yourself, are you achieving that? It's really important that you do know your subject thoroughly, inside out, back to front, upside down. Because if you have only a superficial grasp, then anybody who has a slightly better a grasp of the subject than you have is going to spot holes in your argument every time. And it makes it much more difficult to deal with questions and to relate to your students if you are basically just skimming off something that you don't really know a lot about. So when you're writing on a topic, it's really important that if it's a topic you're a bit weak on, take time out and go and research it to make sure that your topic and your sales pitch is going to be absolutely as good as it possibly can be. Clarity in a letter or any piece of written content is really important. And this has got to do with not only clarity of intent, but also clarity of presentation. And by that, I mean correct grammar, correct syntax, um, making it readable, uh, easy to look at, uh, using short sentences, short paragraphs, headers, bullets, bold italics and using short words. There is a, a tendency to um, like to drop in the occasional, you know, obstreperous uh, word like that, but um, it actually doesn't help because most people, uh, myself included, don't understand a lot of these long words. So you want to keep the readability of your letter as simple as possible so that it is as clear as possible for your readers. Don't write a massive book if you can write two pages. Um, brevity is much harder to achieve than writing something very long. I think it was Mark Twain who said, um, I, I'm writing you this long letter because I didn't have time to write you a short one or words to that effect. So trying to keep your copy concise and yet complete, tell the whole story is really important. Make sure you know what you want from your reader before you start writing. And this is the why I recommend when you select your topic, you select your call to action at the same time and make sure you ask for it. It's really important to put that call to action into your pitch, your sales letter, your piece of copy, whatever it is. Every piece of copy you put out there should have some call to action on it, however simple. So make sure you know what you want and definitely ask for it. Use simple language and short words. So, well, I've already covered that to a certain extent in terms of clarity. But yes, it's very important to assume a basically so about an eighth grade reading standard for your uh, audience. And then you're not going to confuse anybody. And in fact, there are um, places on the Internet where you can go and put your text in and it'll tell you what your readability is. You just have to Google um, text readability or something like that. and You'll be able to find those. Make them friendly. Make your prose friendly and relaxed and easy going. It doesn't have to be um, a legalistic document. You can um, adopt your own style, essentially. I tend not to be too chatty. I do see uh, emails and, and uh, letters which are very, very conversational and very relaxed. That's fine. If that's your style, then write that way. Decide exactly what your style is. In fact, your style will probably evolve as you go. And in fact, when I'm writing for um, uh, ebooks and that sort of thing, or writing blog posts, I do tend to have a slightly different approach than when I'm trying to write something which is a bit more serious, like a white paper. 
Try to make your copy sincere. Sincerity is really important. You've got to build trust with your audience if you're going to uh, create a fantastic piece of copy. Make it tactful. Don't be offensive. Keep it very straightforward. And always, always put a hook in your copy to make sure you grab your audience's attention. So that's the challenge. Can you write better copy? 10 points. Um, give them some serious thought because it will certainly improve the way you write if you do this. And it's better to have an excellent piece of copy to start with than to have to go back and edit it and change it and improve it after you've written it.